I left the sourdough starter in the back of the milk fridge in the barn for an entire year without feeding it. After I poured off the liquid on top, it looked like that. Transferred some of the starter to a fresh clean quart jar. Rehydrated it with warm water and stirred the starter into that. Then I added flour until I got a consistency similar to pancake batter. Let it sit overnight. And it thinned out to this, fed it again, let it sit overnight, and when it peaked, I made a loaf. One full quart of flour all the way to the top of the jar and a pint jar just filled to the shoulder with warm water. This hydration is probably in the 70 to 75% range. Just stirred it all in till all the dry ingredients were moistened and then let it autolaze for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, added three tablespoons of kosher salt. And one metric glorp of the starter. And proceeded to work the starter into the dough with a wet hand, kneading it until the entire dough ball felt homogenous. covered for 20 minutes, then the first stretch and fold again with a wet hand, do about three folds each time, and another 20 minutes later, let it rest for another 20 minutes, and a final stretch and fold. Dough is starting to loosen up and have a nice texture to it. And 20 minutes later, we'll form ourselves a loaf. A little flour on the edge of the bowl to keep the dough from sticking. A little flour on the board. And what I'm trying to do here is basically provide some surface tension to the bowl by tucking the edges of this dough ball underneath and then giving it a few drags across the cutting board to pull some tension. Just looking for a nice uniform ball. Then I'll let this rise overnight in the fridge for that nice slow fermentation. No bulk ferment in this technique, just basically getting the bowl together in the least steps possible. That looks pretty good. Set it on this flowery bit of the board while I get my proofing bowl ready here. Liberal dose of flour on that dish towel, a little bit on top to keep the towel from sticking when I flip it over. And just cover her up like that into the fridge she goes overnight. I heated up this uh, grill to 550 with a Dutch oven in it on a couple of split fire bricks there. In goes the bowl for 15 minutes at about 550. And we'll check the oven spring after 15 minutes and voila! Drop the temperature down to about 450 here for another 25 minutes. And look at that! That starter after not being fed for a year performed gloriously. The flavor on this one was delightful. Just the right sour. Can't really argue with those results. And there she is. Look at those ears. Nice color. Got an interesting pattern from that dish towel. And let's check the crumb. Oh, looks all right to me. So we slice this up, toasted some on the grill, and uh, had Eggs Benedict, 
can't complain.